Hi there, just a quick overview of the 3D connection mouse inside of LightWave 10. Um, okay, on the fancier 3D connection mice, and I don't have one of the little puck style ones, so I'm not sure if they have any hotkey buttons or not, but uh, there's a whole bunch of buttons. The only one that does anything is the first button brings up this navigation tab on your preferences panel. So if um, you're going to buy just the cheaper puck style 3D connection mice, I think right now it wouldn't really matter much because this is all you'd have to bring up. That's all you'd be missing. Uh, what these options do, <clears throat> okay, so we have view mode. Um, I think that's pretty obvious what it does. View mode. Current item. As you can see there. And timeline is twisting of the puck wheel move this timeline down here as you can see. So all three of them are pretty handy. Um, I'm going to put it back to view. There is a ground mode which will not let you penetrate a certain ground floor that can be set here. And that gets handy because the one thing I find with this without having the hotkey for a home or a uh, view all button is I can get lost pretty easy flip upside down, rotate around, and then your axes are all screwed up and you're not doing what you think you're doing uh, when you operate the puck. So that would be nice new tech. Um, some of these different modes, well first of all I'll show you with the view mode, this is forward and back on the puck, up and down, side to side, and here's where some of these come in. In walk mode I can only roll this much, which is nice. I like that. Uh, Maya has something like this, and it's, I think, called inhibit roll or do not roll. In fly mode, as I'm sure you can guess, you have that, unlimited roll. <clears throat> um, the difference between orbit and walk and walk mode, we can turn like that, and I think fly mode would be the exact same. Yeah. In orbit mode, we'll be going around I assume zero zero zero. I'm not sure how this will change. Okay, and then um, I'll set it back to walk. We have dominant axes as well. Now in Maya, this works very solidly. Like you push forward, it goes forward. It will not turn or curve at the same time. Um, here seems to be working, but I seem to be able to do a few axes at the same time. So. Yeah, um, if I were to redo that with it off, it's a little smoother. So it's doing something, I'm just not sure what. Okay, and um, when you're doing things through the current item, you'll notice I have this on walk mode. Uh, so it'll, or it'll orbit around its own center instead of, let's see what happens when we do this. Sure, what's going on there? Maybe that only, maybe the orbit mode only relates to the view because I know if I have it set here, I'm going around. Maybe it's the current item right now, whatever our focus is. Um, yeah, I'm probably just screwed up. But um, what was I thinking here? Oh, yes, if you wanted to position this for a current item, I'll just put it in walk mode. When I push forward and back on the puck, it goes forward and back the way it's looking. So now I'm pushing forward and back on the puck. So just so you know, it might be a little confusing, but it has nothing to do with uh, world axis or anything. It's all the way it's looking, and I've tried this on every coordinate system, and it's always the same. So um, let's go into the camera view, and some guys have asked about the auto key thing. Now, I don't know where the Virtual Studio tab is. I just got this version of Lightwave like last night or something like that. But um, I think I've seen it before. I'm just not sure where it is. So I'm just going to um, do a quick auto key fly through for you here. This to 300. I'm just going to delete whatever I have here. Okay, and we'll try to make something that looks somewhat decent. 
And you can see it's getting a little jerky here. It'll be jerky because of the recording, but I'm just going to let it go there so it can play back. And, uh, I mean, that wasn't the greatest movement, but it definitely gets quite jerky. And um, I noticed this in Maya as well, so I'm not sure if it's the sampling rate of the hardware or if it's something that can be corrected by new tech. But either way, that's basically it in layout. Now if I jump over to modeler, here it is working here. Now this, I guess, is in orbit mode, but the only thing I don't like here is up and down on my puck is in and out. Which, you know, is I can deal with it, but uh, when you just come from its sister application, you spend all the time in here, and forward and back is in and out, and up and down is up and down. You know, switching to the same sister application, and it's completely opposite is a little bit uh, inconvenient.